Hey guys, it is the it's the seventh or something. I'm a day late taking my tree down. I just wanted to do a little video because I have been. Get off. I wish I would have got my tree in now. I've just literally taken the tree out. It was massive. It was like up here. I loved it. Um, I always get really miserable when Christmas and New Year is over because I love it so much. I really love Christmas and New Year. Um, but it's not just that. It's about the fact that we're going into a new year and I still don't know and I'm still not where I want to be. And this happens every single time I have a birthday well, not every single time. Some birthdays have been amazing. I burnt myself cooking Christmas dinner. Can you see it? It's tiny. Anyway, yeah, and so I thought, I've literally been the most miserable cow ever, okay? I've been living on my sofa for two days, all right? It's a weekend. I could have gone to work. I didn't. I didn't want to. I was so miserable. I just... Oh, I just sat there, literally, if you would have seen yesterday, all right, I had bottles of beer, I had a little bit of whiskey left, I had three different boxes of chocolates, I had the big, massive box of um, crackers with cheese and crisps, and I just ate a packet of crisps and they went, Poof, and just threw it down by the side of me. I've just been so fucking miserable, and I think... Um, Maybe, let me, can you see my face? Uh, I, I know, it's messy over there. It's messy everywhere, so just don't look at it. Um, yeah, I just, I need to, I want to be able, I want to be doing what makes me happy and making a living. And it constantly feels like life is a struggle. It doesn't matter how, what I'm doing or how hard I try or what, pos you know, how positive I stay or how, what good person I am and what good deeds I do for other people. It's just, it's just a constant battle. Um, my son got his car clamped. I do like my cup. <laughs> I bought that for myself. My son got his car clamped and taken to an impound and he hasn't got the money to get it out, so I've got to do that. And that really pissed me off. Because uh, if he would have read the leaflet when he first got the clamp, it's £100 to get the clamp off. Now I'm having to pay four or £500 to get the car out. I'm pissed off about that. I shouldn't have spoken about it because it's going to get me angry again. Uh, so yeah, basically... We're going into a new year now and it should be, we should be focused on what makes us happy. And when we're doing what makes us happy, um, yeah, it sucks when, when the money's not there. But I think that the money comes and you know what, at least it's better than not having any money and not doing what makes you happy. Because that's really fucking shit. So, so yeah, I just wanted to have a moan and a grumble. Um, I'm about to hoover all the pine needles off the floor and tidy up the living room. That might make me feel a bit more like, come on, it's 2018. What the fuck are you going to do this year, man? Then again, it might not. I might just want to get back on my sofa and have a wank. You never know. You never know. 